This lesson will show how to determine a sample size needed for a confidence interval of a population mean using Desmos. You want to obtain a sample to estimate how much parents spend on their kids' birthday parties. Based on a previous study, you believe the population standard deviation is approximately $20.3. You would like to be 95% confident that your estimate is within $2.5 of average spending on birthday parties. How many parents do you need to sample? Let's first list the given information. We know the population standard deviation is $20.3, and therefore sigma is 20.3. You want to be 95% confident the estimate is within $2.5 of average spending, and therefore E is 2.5. We also need the z-score that corresponds to the 95% confidence interval, indicated by z sub alpha divided by two, where alpha divided by two is the area to the right of the z-score. Looking at the graph on the lower right, the area to the right of the z-score is 0 0.025 as a decimal. To find the z-score using Desmos, we need the area to the left, which we can see would be 0 0.975 as a decimal. Now let's find the z-score we need using Desmos. Click Graphing Calculator, click Show Keypad, click Functions, under the Distributions menu, click Normal Distribution, enter a mean of zero, comma, standard deviation of one, close parenthesis, period or decimal point, functions, inverse CDF, enter the area to the left of the z-score, which again is 0 0.975. Let's round the z-score to 1.96. And now we'll use the formula shown on the right to determine the sample size, where the sample size n is equal to the square of the product of the z-score and the standard deviation divided by the error. Now we go to Desmos, and enter the sample size formula. With the cursor in cell two, we enter n equals, open parenthesis, open parenthesis, z times, let's use s instead of sigma for standard deviation, close parenthesis, divided by e, tab or right arrow, close parenthesis, and then squared. Notice we have an option to add sliders for z, s, and e. Click all, and now we enter the z-score, the standard deviation, and the error. The z-score is 1.96, the standard deviation is 20.3, and the error is 2.5. Notice n is automatically calculated. We always round n up and never round n down. If we round it down to 253, the sample size would not be large enough. We round up to 254. We now know the sample size needs to be 254. I hope you found this helpful.